Hey guys, D Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some more Bubsy. As you can see, there's a twofer right there, and we're gonna go and get it. Welcome back to another episode in this wonderful series. Hopefully, you're all doing well. I actually intended to record this and upload it doing during doing during the superb owl. I had a lot of good, funny sports jokes and things in it, but. Alas, it did not make it. So here we are today. We're gathered here today. Yeah, I think, oops. That's a quick death. Touching water will kill you. Be very careful. Very, very careful. Yeah, I... Don't particularly love this area. I played it a little bit. In a previous attempt of a recording. Notice I'm being very careful with how I say that in an attempt of a recording. I don't love this area, there's a lot going on, and everything of course, as per usual, is trying to kill us. So we'll see how this goes today, Whee! this is going to send us right back to the beginning. Hopefully you've all been doing well though, in the time that we've since been departed. I think I made pretty good points in maybe my... Wind Waker episode about divisiveness and tribalism that happens with sports. It wasn't just about that, though. The bigger points that I was trying to make is how we get divisive about sports and we get divisive about people being divisive about sports, which I find is kind of fast. Ooh, fascinating. Almost got killed by that poop beaver. All right. So I don't really care for this level and the one that precedes it. There's a lot going on and everything is gnarly here. So we're going to watch out for these weird horned eels. I don't know what is going on here. Whoa. That's probably coming right back. Oh, no. Oh, oh. All right, so here we go. We're gonna ride this raft all the way through. Hopefully we'll see more civilization here in the moment. Whoa, hot dog fish. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like this. I like this more than the, the Wild West. The only downside is there's this plucky banjo that you're hearing, just vibing, just going for it, going hard. And it is grating. Especially when, as we get further into this level, we'll probably wind up, maybe not this one, I should say world, maybe not necessarily level is not the best term for it. As we get further into this level, world, I just corrected myself and then uncorrected myself. You'll notice that it will stop and restart the track whenever you touch the What am I trying to say here? Whenever you touch anything like this, anything that can change the music will cause the track to reset. I don't love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good it does get a little grating, and by a little, I mean a lot. Also, everything is sloped. I was going to make a math joke, but I don't even remember the equation for slope. I would probably be disappointing my my math teachers from ages. Oh, come on. Yeah, I didn't like this stuff. All right, so we're going to try the raft again. You can take this approach kind of Tears of the Kingdom style. You can stay down below here in the depths. You can conquer Hyrule from ground level, or you can go into the sky, whatever you're into. I didn't really intend to make a Tears of the Kingdom reference, but it just came to my brain, as does most of what I say during these episodes. I don't really have any sort of planned shtick that I'm doing. 
unless I've really thought about it. If I do multiple recordings, if I goof something, then usually there's some sort of an additional thing that comes to mind that will fit in. And in that case, I will add it as like an addendum. Whoa! I, yeah, I don't like this eel at all. Ooh. Yeah, there, there's a lot of these yarn balls that are in these places, especially the yarn ball boxes that, to me, appear to be just pure traps. I don't like that. I don't like this game trying to lie to me. Alright, we're getting close. Oh, checkpoint. Okay. There's an egg boy right here. Wait for him to do his... Come on. Do your thing. Is he not gonna do it now? He was just throwing eggs. I just saw it. Alright. There he goes. The downside to this first stage, I don't know if this is par for the course or not. There we go. But there are, you don't get to keep the yarn balls that you collect here today in this specific first level, which is unfortunate. I think that they all go away at the end of... Now listen to that. All right, let's continue. So far, so good. Only lost a couple of lives that time. Who's ready for round two? So we have to be careful here because these spiny logs will also kill you. We're gonna need to use the glide technique very well. But you see how much of a lie this is? They're trying to make you think that it's okay. So briars in this one too, little brambles. Whoa. Yeah, and there's a lot of paths you can take. Whoa, yeah, see that's messed up. There's a lot of paths you can take. Ugh. If it's not one egg throwing bird, it's another one. I hate the woolies. Rock around the crop. I was gonna make a point about Tears of the Kingdom and I didn't, and then my brain went autopilot. So I will make this point before I forget. So, one of the things I've noticed in modern society, I have a little bit of a background in the marketing world, a little bit, not a lot. And it honestly can make or break a product. Good marketing can take a mediocre product and make it into something special. And bad marketing can take a good product and tank it. So you obviously don't want that. If you have a good product that you believe in. So, and one of the things that I, that I find to be fascinating, and this is in relation to the title of this episode, or of this, I guess, not world, but... What am I trying to say here? This level? The croc thing that it said? One of the things that I wanted to bring up is that... Crocs, the shoes, that are very divisive for some reason, but... They seem to be really popular amongst people that are in, like, hospitals and wait staff, because they're... I've heard... I don't own, oops, I don't own any, but I'm not much of a fashionista, but they are known to be comfortable and they're slip resistant, which I guess is really good if you work in those fields and you are around potentially hazardous slippery areas, so that makes sense, and you want to have something like that. Oh boy, am I dying? Yep, that is rude. So, that kind of stuff has to come from somewhere, those ideas, the marketing from that. I don't know what the guy's name is exactly, I don't follow the marketing world, I don't have like a pulse on it, I'm not listening to marketing podcasts or anything like that. Oh boy. Ugh. See, why would they put that thing underneath the water? You'll be dead. All right, where can we go that's safe? I just, I'm gonna stay down here for a second. Does this drain the water? But anyway, the guy who did the marketing for Crocs made them wildly successful. Very popular. People were all over Crocs for a while, all right. That guy also was responsible, I heard, I think recently, 
that there's those Stanley Cups that are all the rage, especially with, like, the young ladies. Oh boy, we're dead. Oh, no, we're not. Young ladies, big fans of... What? Did that eat me? Next time, I get a stunt cat. And he was responsible for that. I feel like what's going to happen as I'm recording this is... Uh, I just clipped my audio. Is... This is going to... I'm not going to have enough lives to continue to do that. Get out of here. Is that a robot turtle in the sky? So I'm probably going to have to replay this off screen with better results because this is not going super well for me. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I don't like this whole, you know, gambling where you're going kind of a thing. Whoa. I did see another platform over there. Yeah, and without enough kind of yarn balls to guide your way, it's really tough to know where you're going. There's absolutely going to be something here to kill me. Everything about this is horrible. I hate it. Okay, can this just take me to the end? Take me to the promised land? There's fish in the sky? Okay. It's like a weird metaphor for something that I don't understand. And I was, I was going to try to, oops, oh, 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 okay. I hear a UFO. Is there a poop beaver around here? That's like not the fun part of this game is like trying to be careful. Like, I don't think that's what the, the inventors, ooh. I don't think that's what they intended for you to do, but this is what you have to, like, as you get further into this game. I mean, I obviously don't know the... I don't know the tricks of the trade. Maybe there's like speedrunning tactics. Also, this alligator can screw off. He's eating the raft. What a jerk. If you're hungry, get something to eat. Like a small mammal. Or a large mammal. Whoa. Not a Bubsy though. Something else I think I I think I mentioned this in one of the failed recordings. Is uh it is 2024 now. And I think we are at a crossroads. I don't think those are cicadas. I mean, those might just be like some sort of like a weird mosquito or something. But we're at, a, we're at a crossroads here where there are two genres of cicadas coming out soon that only, I guess, pop up like there's like a third. Oh, it's the end. There's a 13 year and a 17 year cicada. I guess, arrival. How do I get up there? Oh, nice. All right, this is all I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this before I finish this level. Is, uh, yeah, so there's like a 13 year and 17 year cicada thing where they're gonna both be popping out at the same time. Those are the really annoying It sounds like an RC car kind of thing. Bugs that pop out of the ground. And uh, yeah, they'll be coming. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here while well, I can safely do so. Um, like I said, I'll probably go back and replay this with hopefully having more lives if the rest of this world does not go well, but we'll see how that goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been d -Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with some Bubsy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!